Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. Today we're going to be taking a look at another project. This project is a play to earn game called Mist, and the game is on the Binance Smart Chain. It is a open world RPG role playing game. So we'll just get right into it looking at their website. So Mist, again, on the Binance Chain, is made with Unity. And if you see here, welcome to Mist. So the project has been around for quite a little bit. I've been following it for a while. And they actually did, when they originally launched, their graphics were kind of uh, kind of terrible. And they re-ramped it, and it looks a lot better now. But if you see, you can kind of look the, at the screenshots here as we read over this. So welcome to Mist, where you can collect NFTs, battle epic monsters, and you can explore a infinite, you know, generating blockchain NFT map. Um, or the world of Mist, and the game does use the they do have a native token Mist, which is used as the in-game currency, allowing you to farm and stake tokens, so you can earn rewards. And you can see here kind of the kind of the shots of the game right now. Again, this game isn't exactly live yet, but it is in the works. So if we go to View Gallery, you can see if you want to get go on this website you can see they have plenty of videos of their game and kind of what they're thinking and different shots of the game and i just think this game the game looks crisp you know if you see here you have your objectives kind of like a kind of really like a dragon world or a dragon age kind of of the blockchain kind of the vibe i get and there's so many games to compare it to it's just the first one that came to mind you'll see this is the a Luna City, probably butchered that, but a Luna City. You see the map here and the artwork of the game. It'll be taking place in Midorum. Again, might have butchered that, but you can see here that they the quality of the game is there. It's crisp. It looks great. It's it's a very clean game. And again, the biggest thing is if obviously if the game can deliver on it, that is going to be huge on the game. So we'll go back to the home page. But, and again, I will link this website in the description below if you want to come on here and look at all those different videos for yourself. But just going down the Mist Metaverse. And again, they have a quick little video here, which we'll take a peek at. So you can kind of see what the gameplay will look a little bit. I think this is just the Metaverse kind of VR version of it, or augmented reality version of it. So not of the actual gameplay, but it's kind of cool though. It is cool. So player created sandbox dungeons. So you can create dungeons and join other people's dungeons. And when you kill monsters and earn loot, the owner of the dungeon gets a percentage of that loot. So in a sense, if you create dungeons and people are using them and winning and killing enemies in them, it's kind of like a profit share. They will get their rewards and you'll get part of that loot too, just for creating that dungeon. So pretty cool. And you can also earn... Like most metaverses right now, you can buy land in the game. We're kind of the same thing as the dungeons. When other people kill monsters or get loot on that land, you would get a part of that loot. And they are saying that within the initial, the three initial games on mobile, you will be able to use augmented reality and mixed reality with it. And hence the gameplay here with the Mist AR. The augmented reality version of the game so very very cool and they do have a nft marketplace where you can see kind of the different things you can buy so if you go to the marketplace here you can go to items auctions character characters and this will obviously change in the future the more that this game gets developed and rolls out this is all again very early the game has not launched it's very early we're just looking at it, and I just want you guys to be aware that this game is here. This project is building. I've been watching it for several months, you know, six, seven months now. If I remember right, it's been a while. It's been a while. And you can scroll over these. It gets descriptions of the five different classes that you can become in Mist. So it's kind of cool, and along with their little animations that they, that they have. So you can be a ranger, encanter, crusader or a shapeshifter, or a witch hunter. Those are the five different classes. So you can see here, people are looking at it. 
And again, farm and stake in game. So when you have the missed native token, it can be staked within the game. So you can get rewards or you can invest in farmland or shops. And if people use it, you'll get rewards just like the land and the dungeons. And we look here at the five different classes. So the Crusader, more like a warrior type, and Enchanter, like a mage, ranger, like a rogue style shape shifter. If you're good, you know, with like potions or shape shifting, literally, or witch hunter as well. We'll scroll down to again the last news, so it kind of shows you things they have been working on. And these news, you know, they're recent, right? Like April this year, 2022, this month. And you can look here. And the news just doesn't stop. They're constantly rolling out updates and stuff that they are growing within this game. And again, the the images that we were looking at earlier. And if we look at their missed native token right now at the time of this recording, it is trading for roughly around seven cents with a market cap of just under four million. And the circulating supply and total supply. But still, the fully diluted is only 70 million which for a giant open RPG world like this seems pretty small in my eyes. And you can see here that the trading went live uh, earlier um, last year in 2021. And it stayed pretty consistent. I mean, it's had its ups and downs. You know, obviously we had the bull run in May and then later in the fall. So you can kind of see here, ride the waves and look at the market cap. I think it got up to like 20 million. Yeah, 21 million. You know, that was at the all-time highs. So even just to get up there is a quick, you know, 5x if we enter those territories again. And again, this game is way more developed now than it was back during the bull run time. So I can only imagine when we do pick up more of a bullish sentiment in the market where, where this project can go. Look over at their miss page. You can see if we just watch like a quick little combat video just so you guys can get a take on what this game's combat is gonna look like. You have your little mini map, your combat bar down there. And again, just, oh, okay. We already saw that one. And just all these different images, you know, mark cap, the volume. And if you ever want to read more about the game, they do have a white paper just on their main page. You just go all the way to the top and oops, white paper's right there. And you can read more about this game if you'd like to. I highly recommend it if it's a game that you that you know does interest you. If it's a project that you see potential in, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be huge. That's what I think. A giant open RPG world like Mist. Again, we get into the character classes, NFT overviews. There's a lot here. There 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 is a lot here. So how you can get the Mist token is obviously you can buy it. On different exchanges. So if you look at their market, I believe it's on Pancake Swap and I want to say Gate.io, and those are the two big ones right now. So not listed really on anything major besides Gate.io and maybe a few others. Or you can get it by killing monsters, completing quests, selling NFTs in the game or items, farming in the game, staking in the game, or outside of the game as well, or buying again on an exchange and sending it to your in game character. And there's going to be ore, wood, you know, bows and armor, NFTs that you can sell and gather. Again, built on Unity. And we'll look at the roadmap here before closing out. You have quarter one, 2021. You know, the base game design, their IDO, their NFT. And they had their closed demo begins. And then hopefully they were saying that 2022 later this year is that the game is hopefully going to go live. And that is when I think you're going to see a parabolic run to all new all-time highs with the token itself is when the game goes live and everyone gets their hands on it and there brings more utility to the token. But yeah, I guess that is missed a upcoming play to earn project RPG. I want you to be aware of. So let me know in the comments below if this is a game that interests you or what you think of it or any questions you have, or if there's other projects you want me to look into, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. And if you can like the video comment, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you guys.